welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to go over things I wish I knew when I first got into merchandising. I was thinking about it with a lot of you guys always asking like, how do I get into the field? What do you recommend? These are obviously a lot of frequently asked questions by you guys, which I've addressed in other videos too. But I thought for this one, I would just kind of talk about things I wish I knew when I was getting into the industry. Um, just to kind of, you know, talk to my past self and also help you guys out too. So things I wish I knew. First things first was, I wish I knew that if I wanted to leave a company for another company in order to move up, that's fine. I think I had this preconceived idea thinking that it was going to be really easy. I would get my retail job at a certain store and just move up after like a couple years or something like that. That can happen, not a lot of the times is it common. Retail is a very competitive place. so. If you're happy with where you're at, but um, the company that you're with isn't seeing your potential, it is totally fine for you to move on and find a place, another place where you can grow. And I feel like the more places you work at, the better because you get all sorts of experience because pe everyone does things a little differently depending on their brand and what they are selling. So don't expect to be a, uh, become a merchandiser quickly, um, especially if you're just starting out and don't expect for it to all happen at one store. Uh, I would also say not to be afraid to be authoritative. As an entry level merchandiser, I was just kind of like, how, why would I expect these people to listen to me like I'm new? But at the same time, you were hired for that role and it's your job. You, you need to direct people and guide people when it comes to product launches and floor sets and things like that. And I just kind of wish that aspect of the job uh, didn't intimidate me because I knew that I was good at what I did, but I still had that you know mentality where I'm like, oh, I'm new, nobody's gonna care. If you're confident and you act, you know, like you know what you're doing from day one, you wanna be respected, so go ahead and do that. There's nothing, it's just wasted energy to second guess yourself, as I guess is what I'm saying. I think I've slowly come to realize over the years is that various fields in the fashion industry do affect merchandising. I took a couple of fashion industry classes along with the fashion industry essentials course and the fashion business essentials course. But even in community college, I took like a fashion trend analysis course where you learned about trend setting and trend forecasting. And that is really interesting just because with merchandising, you're essentially merchandising trends and things that are trendy that people want. So if you're not really paying attention to trends, how are you gonna be a good merchandiser? So it all kind of goes hand in hand. And I always say and believe that knowledge is power so I think the more that you learn about the industry in general um, is also very beneficial as well to become a merchandiser another thing I wish I knew and this goes for like any job not even just like merchandising if you want to ask for a raise that is perfectly fine you deserve to be compensated appropriately and I think that it can be an intimidating thing because it's a sensitive topic you know like oh give me more money and you're like, how do I go about this professionally? If you do wish to do so, I would definitely draft up kind of like an argument or like reasons as to why you believe you should be compensated more. Don't just go in there and be like, this isn't fair. Have something prepared so that way you can confidently be like, these are my points and I feel like I should be matched. If you're not, that's another reason why you can go to a different company because you get more experience from working at a different store and you can be compensated more fairly if you're not at your current job. I think a lot of the times for me starting out or anybody starting out in anything, you get nervous about not taking certain risks and about actually taking certain risks because you're like, what if this ruins everything? Or what if this is gonna like push me back? Um, I think, I think that's just wasted energy to be afraid of things like that. Don't be afraid to be authoritative. Don't be afraid or don't feel like you have to stick to one store and that you're for sure gonna move up and only be successful if you work at that one store because that's not true. Don't feel afraid to ask for a raise if you believe you deserve one. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You are hired for this role, especially if it's an entry level merchandising role, you're not expected to know everything. So ask questions because people are there to help you. They wanna see you succeed. Also some exciting news. I have a third merchandising guide coming out very, very soon. If you guys don't know, I have downloadable merchandising guides available on my site and I will link them down below if you guys are interested. Um, I know some of you guys have downloaded them and if you have, that means the world to me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a review that helps other people find them uh, a lot easier but I am planning on having the third one come out very soon so if you want to check out the first two check them out in the link in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys